Hey guys, so today I'm here with my November favorites and that's so crazy to say. I cannot believe that December is right around the corner. What the heck? This year is almost over. Oh, but that means it's soon time for my annual yearly favorites. So that's exciting. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this mascara that I've been wearing. And this month I picked up the Sephora Favorites Lash Dash Kit, which is always so hard for me to say. And with that kit came two full-size mascaras. And this is the first one that I opened. So this is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. This is such a great mascara. I haven't had any trouble with it transferring and I find that it lengthens and separates my lashes really nice. Only one downside is the fact that it's drying out on me already and I've only had it open for like three weeks. So I would have been really grossed out if I would have paid $30 or whatever this is by itself and then it would have dried out that fast. So this is the brush. It's plastic with short bristles. And I find that these type of brushes do a really great job of separating my lashes. My lashes can be kind of stubborn, so yeah, I really like this type of wand. Then next up, I have the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Light. This is the most beautiful highlighter I've ever owned in my life, straight up. This is stunning. It's so intense. Ow, oh, Simba's like grabbing my leg. <laughs> what do you want? So this is a pink cool tone highlighter. They also have a gold warm tone one, which is stunning, but it just wouldn't suit my skin tone. I'd love to try that as an eyeshadow though, but it'd be amazing. You just need the tiniest bit and it completely like highlight on fleek, can see you from the moon and everything else everybody else says. This is the highlighter I think that everybody loved from the Pro Fusion Duo that they had out, which had a bronzer and then a highlighter. But yeah, now you can get the highlighter on its own and it's stunning and amazing. One of the best highlighters I've ever used in my life. So yeah, I'd recommend going to Sephora swatching this and you'll probably want to buy it right away because it's amazing. Then my next favorite is that rediscovered favorite I talked about earlier, and that is the NARS Blush in Luster. So this is a warm peachy tone, leans a little bit brown kind of blush, and it has gold shimmer in it. I'm actually wearing this right now, and I've really been liking pairing this blush with another one of my favorites this month, which I'll talk about. Yeah, I think it just gives a really nice natural, subtle glow. I find that it just enhances any kind of natural flush that I get to my face, and I really like the warm tones, especially this time of year. And then my my favorite that I've been pairing that with has been the Bite Beauty um, A Little Bit of Bite lip kit. I think that's what it's called. Maybe not. A Little Bite? Anyway, these are the four mini Mouge Bouche lipsticks and these colors are stunning. So it comes with Pepper, which I'm wearing now, Fig, which is a classic mauve. It comes with Honeycomb, which is a perfect nude, which is what I've been wearing luster with. And then also comes with Nori, which is like a berry red. And these are stunning lipsticks. The formula is so good. It's like everything I can want in a lipstick. They're moisturizing. They feel super comfortable on. You will have to reapply them every couple hours because they're such a moisturizing formula that they won't last on your lips. Like they're not a long wearing lipstick. And I really like how they don't stain my lips as they fade away because they're not noticeable as they're fading. Have you guys seen the set online that has like all the Bite Beauty lipsticks and it's like $250 or something like that? I just want my whole lipstick collection to be Bite Beauty because I think they're so amazing. And then my last beauty favorite of the month has been this Clarins Booster. And this is such a cool little product. It's a really potent oil, which is supposed to help repair your skin. So if you have any dark spots or fine lines, this is supposed to help you with that. I also have the two other types of boosters, which are amazing, but this is definitely my favorite one of the bunch. You can also mix these with foundation, which I found interesting. I haven't tried that yet because I do have oily skin, but one of these times I do want to experiment with that. I love the idea of turning your foundation into skincare. I think that's super cool. So that is all my beauty favorites. Now on to a music favorite. I have been absolutely loving Lady Gaga's new CD. So good. My favorite song so far has been A Million Reasons. Love that one, I can't get enough of it. I've had the best time just listening to her performance of that song on the AMAs over and over. Oh, it's just been so good. And as for a makeup release that I'm super excited about this month, I cannot wait for the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so cute. I think it's at a really great price point. It was like $32 Canadian. It actually released yesterday for VIB Rouge, but I managed to snag one up for me and my friend. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to see it. So I'll probably be doing a review, so stay tuned for that. So that is everything for my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have been loving this month. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ashley, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye.